Hey, everybody's. How's everybody doing? Hope everybody's having a fabulous week. I'm trying to be cheerful. Not easy for me this week. I'm have, having some rough time, but that's my stuff, not yours. Don't have, you know, don't want to bring you down. I don't even know if anybody's still watching these things. I hope y'all are. Um, I just thought I'd pop in here and do a whipping chat because I figured I'd better work on this because I really need to do that review on the one day savings and I wanted to finish this section, this last section of my chuck or my puck before I started that because, you know, I've only got this little corner left before I have to flip him. Flip him around, not flip him off because I would never do that to Puck Jensen because that would be rude to somebody with such talent and who gives us such fabulous paintings. So, I did get a new tray recently. This is from Nick's is it Nick's Notions? I had her card around here someplace. And I just messed up all my diamonds. Well, that's diamond painting with sparklers. Oh, where'd I put it? I had it here a minute ago. Is this it? Yes, Nick's Notions. Um, it's the Beast. It's got, came with a stopper and all that stuff. It took me forever to get the stopper out next. Um, because my hands don't always work. I actually had to have a friend help me get the stopper out. Now that I know how to do it, I can do it. And probably should have it in. It also came with this fancy schmancy lid. Ta-da. So, if you stop for the night you can put the lid on this one actually does glow in the dark and believe it or not I did an unbagging of it and I was going to show you that it does glow in the dark and I hit the wrong button and I lost the whole thing story of my life ain't that how it always goes so um what is up with all of y'all I really wish y'all would comment and tell me what y'all are doing and what y'all want to talk about and what you want to see because I really don't know. So here I sit doing just whipping chats and if there's something particular you want to see on the channel, if you'd like to see me work on an ornament because I really do need to work on some ornaments. Um, I'm not really particularly in the mood to do it, but I will, because I do have to work some up, um, but if you'd like to see me do that, I will, um, I also have been known to do jewelry, it's been a while, and I would have to find all the pieces parts, which are scattered in and amongst this room, and the cubbies in the hallway, and I don't think anything went in storage, but some might be down in Talbert's mom's apartment, maybe. I don't think so. Some beads went down there that need to come back up here, but I don't know where to put them because... I'm fighting for room myself. I know she is too. And that's really rude that I have stuff down there. We thought we were going to sell some of them. Because I didn't know if I would use the ones that mom used. But. I can work with the size mom used. So. There's no sense in selling them. Because I can work. Ornaments in that size. So. So what's been going on with me? 
I did go to a nephrologist about the, I don't know if I told you this, that they came and told me that I had hypoparathyroidism. Never even heard of that. So I went to a nephrologist and they told me that that was related to the rheumatoid arthritis attacking my kidneys. So RA for the win. Yay. It can do so many fun things. Hang on a second, I need a drink. I got this new thing because I was curious. It's called Nitro Pepsi. Smooth, creamy nitro drink. Apparently, you're supposed to pour it in a glass. I, I drink it straight out of the can. So, anyway. I don't know if you can see that or not. I don't want to tilt it too far because I don't want to spill it. When I first opened it, it was like, you know, open in like a Guinness. It was like, and all these bubbles came up. Because it says, chill can, pour hard, admire and enjoy. It says that it has smaller bubbles. Where is it? Where did I read that? It said smaller bubbles. I know I... Yeah. Now I can't find it. Oh, nitrogen-infused cola, smaller bubbles, smoother taste. I don't know. My mom was the Pepsi drinker. I would drink one once in a while when I ran out of other soda. So Pepsi was never my go-to. But my Dr. Pepper is getting cold in the fridge, so this was already cold. I have Coke cold in the fridge, but I didn't feel like grabbing a Coke. I'm an equal opportunity caffeine drinker as long as it's not Mountain Dew. I cannot do the Dew. I just never was one for Mountain Dew. Don't know why. Just don't like it. So I guess I do know why. I don't like it. But everybody ready for Easter? I guess that's my holiday being the being the crafty rabbit. I don't know. It's not about the rabbit, is it? It's about it's about the it's about Jesus. So Yep. I don't know what I I don't think I'm doing anything for Easter other than hanging out here. Probably working on this. Slowly trudging along, because you know I know my downstairs sister has plans with her family. Oh come on! I hate it when they don't go where they want to go, where you want them to go. That one was upside down anyway. That's why I was trying to get him up. Um. I think I might have figured out. I bought that tripod. Yeah. <laughs> I would say squirrel, but, you know, what was the word that I came up with the other day? Because I know Sherry says squirrel. And, yeah, mine's like a runaway train. Um, and now I can't even remember what I was starting to say anyway. Anyway, I know that my downstairs sister has plans with her family, so she will be there. And I have no plans whatsoever, because other than her and Talbert's mom, I have no family. My biological brother is, you know... <laughs> Not, as far as I know, not speaking to me because I've not heard from him. And I've gotten tired of being the one to reach out. And my biological sister made it quite clear that she was done. So, I have my chosen family. And 
one of those. I'm not sure what's going on with it, so I'm going to leave that there. Because that's where it needs to be left right now. But, anyway, spring is almost here. We've had, let's see, it was 80 degrees yesterday. Bright and sunny. Very pretty. And we have a frost warning for tomorrow. Been like that the last several weeks. We have very, very pretty days. And then snow on the Fridays. And, I mean, we're not talking just a little bit of snow. We'd get yeah, three or four inches. It's like... Okay. And then to be gone. And then Wednesdays would be, oh, nice and bright and sunny and 70 degrees and happy and everything. And then snow on Friday. And snow on Saturday. And icky on Sunday. And then nice on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And then icky and cold on the weekends. It's been like that, you know, for the last month. And, yeah, it's like, you don't like the weather? Come to Missouri. Wait a minute. It'll change. And it's not unusual for us to have snow in May. It's happened. Happened last year. So, yeah. It's crazy. So. Oh, I remember what I was going to say. The tripod that I ordered. It works great. But... For me to get this section here, I have to set it on this little side table. And it can only get so far because it, it's a small tripod. So it'll only go right about here. And I can't, I have not figured out how to use it properly yet. So I need to work with that. That's on me. That's, that's operator error or as Talbert's mom calls it, ID10T error. So, yeah, that's on me. I, I have to learn how to use it. So I got my old one out that is the one that I usually, you know, apologize for the earthquakes. So I have clipped it to the little side table, which, granted, is attached to the desk, but I'm hoping, since it's on my right side, and I'm left-handed, that I'm not going to be bumping it every five seconds to send you guys into the, you know, car sick lane or, you know, earthquake zone or anything like that. So that's what I, you know, that was my, my, you know, train wreck, you know, off the rails. Yeah, I don't, half the time I I start these thinking, okay, I'm going to talk about this, this, and this. And yes, I know I need to keep a notebook with bullet points. Don't do it, you know, because I forget. <laughs> Gotta love that fibro fog. So, let's see, what else has been going on? Yesterday, I had an appointment. Had been scheduled for quite a while was in my books because they made a whole bunch of appointments at one time when I was at the doctor a while back so and it was a scheduled appointment for labs so I trudged my little happy cottontail see what I did there cottontail um over to the lab and I sit and I wait. I mean, they even sent me the little reminder about, you know, you've got an appointment, you know, pre-register, here you go. So I did. And I got there and I sat and I waited and waited and waited a little longer. Was fairly patient. And about a half an hour goes by and I finally asked a nurse if they were running late. And she's like, hang on just a second. About that time, somebody comes and 
pulls me back and says, asks me what the labs are for. I was like, I don't know. The doctor just told me I had to come get labs today because they scheduled this a while back. Because I have not, another doctor appointment on Friday. Well, things have been really screwy with my doctor lately. I had an appointment to have a mole removed off my side in January. And it got rescheduled because she had an illness. Okay, so it was rescheduled for the next month. Then the next month, she had an emergency, so it got rescheduled for March. In March, I got there, I was in the room on time, by the time she got in the room and did all her little, you know, the stuff they have to do before your appointment, by the time she got all that done, there wasn't time to do the procedure. So it has been rescheduled yet again for tomorrow. So, yeah, um, apparently they're not too worried about this mole. I am, but they're not, so... What do you do? Anyway. So, yeah. Sometimes I think most doctor's offices are a circus and the clowns are running. The clowns are running the show. But, I don't know. You get a good doctor, and then they leave the practice, and then you wind up with a different, you know, with a new doctor who, I like my new doctor, but I'm still getting used to her, so I'm still a little unsure. Of, you know, whether or not I want to keep seeing her or request a new one or what because we don't have a whole lot to choose from here in town and I don't want to have to try to go doctor shopping on top of everything else because our, my insurance only is very limited on where I can go so gotta love those Medicare Advantage plans. Am I right? So, anyway. So, gang, if you don't watch this, can you at least leave a thumbs up or something? I mean, I know Talbert's mom watches them because usually she comments or something, or she'll come up here and tell me something. Um, but other than I see people are viewing it. Yeah, I see people view it. But I don't know if it's any of my subscribers. Or if it's just people that happen to see it. And somewhere and happen to watch it. I would like to know if my subscribers are actually watching. And what they think. I would love to hear from you guys. I, I really, really would. Um... I know I'm hit or miss on some of this stuff, and I'm sorry. It's... I've been having a really rough time, especially this last month or so. Um, I don't know if I've, I've told you all this or not. If I have, I'm sorry, but I'm going to go through it again. I lost my dad on March 6th, 2015. Um, I lost my best friend and heart sister on April 5th, 2015. I immediately started taking care of my mother when my dad passed. And she lived with me for six years. She passed last year on March 7th, 2015. 2021. So six years and a day passed after my dad. So 
from the beginning of March and her birthday, their anniversary was April 5th. They would have been married 70 years. So my, my sister passed on their anniversary. But they would have been married 70 years this past April 5th. And then my mom's birthday is the 23rd. So from the beginning of March to the end of April are just very, it's, it's a very rough two months for me. And so I'm kind of in a dark place. So I thought I'd come on here and try to cheer myself up and hopefully not bring you guys down. But that is why I have been so hit and miss in the, at least in the last couple of months. I am trying to get a little better. I am trying to, to get better at keeping up with y'all and working on my diamond painting because I, you know, I've not worked, as you can tell, I've not worked on this a whole heck of a lot. Um, I mean, it's taken me forever to get to this point and I keep seeing dog hair. Maddie, quit trying to do my diamond painting. I swear. Maybe it's the time of day. First thing in the morning I come in here, I can find a whole heck of it. Because the sun will shine in on it. Of course, first thing in the morning, or once the sun comes up, you don't want to be in here. Because it's hot. Now, it might be different once I turn the air on, but I'm not turning the air on yet. And... I've pretty much decided this is going to be one room I do not open a window in. Because the only window that I can really get to is right above this desk. And I really do not want dust blowing across this. Because even though I do cover... Dang it. I do cover what I'm working on at night when I'm done. I do put my, my cover sheets over it. But once you, as you know, once you start working on something on a section, they don't stick down all the way. So dust can still get underneath them. And that window is right there. So, yeah. The other window's over there. But it's pretty hard to get to. Now, if I could move the bedroom, the room around, it might be a different story. But I've, I've got limited space in here. So, I mean, the walls, we got pretty much every, something on every wall so I'll get it straightened up and give you give you a new tour one one of these days so anyway trying to find a time here um how long should whipping chats be I see some people do 30 minutes I see some people do hours um I don't know that mine are interesting enough to do an hour so I tend to stick to about a half an hour um, I mean if I was doing something really interesting like standing on my head and diamond painting on you know with one foot and you know talking to the dog who was actually speaking back in you know like Swahili or something that would be I'm sure I'd have all sorts of subscribers <laughs> but the dog doesn't know Swahili, by the way. Russian? Yeah, she knows a little Russian. I'm kidding. I wish she could speak because... Look, I'm... I'm diamond painting with air at that, on that one. Because I would love to know her backstory from before I got her. I really, really, truly would. I would love to know where she lived and who had her so I could go kick his butt and tell him he was an idiot. 
but he wouldn't get her back. Nope, nope, nope. She's my dog now. Forever and always. Because she's a lot of fun. Let's see, what other things was I going to talk about? Have y'all seen anything good to watch? Any good movies? I watched Dune the other day. I was made to watch the original Dune. I don't remember much of it, other than I did not enjoy it, because I was made to watch it. I actually enjoyed this one only because it had Jason Momoa in it. And who's not going to enjoy anything with Jason Momoa in it? I'm sorry. Jason Momoa is hot. Even without the beard. Although he looked... It took me a little bit to realize he didn't have the beard and that he had such a baby face. But still. Wouldn't kick him out of bed for eating crackers. I would make him vacuum up the crumbs, but I wouldn't kick him out of bed for eating crackers. So, there's that. So, oh goodness. What else? Um, let me get my sleeves out of the way. I seem to be collecting pens on my desk lately. It's like I pick one up and it doesn't feel right for a while. And then, it, so yeah, they just get laid down here. So I've got this one that Yvonne gave me. And this one. I can't remember if I ordered this one or if this one was with one that Yvonne gave me. Yvonne is one of my subscribers who I dearly love. Haven't heard from lately and I really need to reach out to her. Um, she has subs she has provided a lot of content for you guys. A lot of it. Um, and I need to get to some of those paintings. I really do. Um, in fact, she was who my mystery diamond painting is from. It's from Yvonne. So, um, but, oh, this tray, I was telling you, it's called the Beast. And you guys have seen this tray a lot. This is the tray I usually use. And this tray's huge compared to... Okay. Here we go. We'll compare some trays. I'm just all over the place here. Diamond Art Club old tray, new tray. Let me put them in the, in the camera. Sorry. Old tray, new tray. Diamond Art Club. They in inside of each other. New tray, old tray. Been trying to roll off the table. Because my floors are not even. You would think that in an apartment your floors would be level, but nope, I live in a I live in a hysterical building and the floors are not level. Which is hysterical in and of itself. It's a, it's an historical building. So this is the tray that I used to use, right? Okay. Diamond Art Club trays. So this this tray is huge. And then this one will actually fit down inside this one if this spout was moved over where it normally would be. So as you can see, that's a big tray. I like big trays. I like big trays and I cannot like so where did that come from? I do not know. <laughs> Cause I do not rap. I do sing on occasion, but I don't rap. 
So don't ask me where that came from. <laughs> Probably because I've had no sleep. It was, it was stormy this morning. I'm about four o'clock this morning, but I was already up. I just didn't get any sleep last night. So I'm, I'm a little slap happy and I, I did get a little bit, little tiny, tiny, tiny bit of a nap on the couch earlier, but I don't know how long it was. I know I was watching The Resident and I missed the end of it, so I have to rewind it and see the end of it. But anyway, so that's how big that Nick's Notions Beast is. I have heard somewhere that she is going to be coming out with a bigger one. Now, do I need a bigger one? I don't know. I, I would have to see how much bigger it is. Because, you know, when you're living the 310 life, <laughs> you don't want to be reloading your tray all the time. So, yeah. I was redoing my ponytail bin. Cause, oh, my God. I haven't told you this yet. I did a thing. Oh, I did a thing. I chopped my hair off. I've been talking about it for years, guys. Bunnies, I have been talking about it for years. But my mother's always, oh, please don't, please don't. I love your curls, I love your curls. Please don't cut your hair, please don't cut your hair, please don't cut your hair. So I will... You know, no, I won't cut my hair. I would have it trimmed, you know, that kind of thing. And it was always waist length, maybe a little, you know, a little longer, you know, halfway down my butt kind of thing. So, um, yeah. So, I did a thing. And I went to the salon to get my nails done. I just went with, I went didn't go crazy. I went with just a French tip. And I let them cut my hair. And I went from just below my waist to just below my shoulders. Feels a lot different. And I look in the mirror and I see my seventh grade haircut. The one difference is I did not know how to take care of my curls in seventh grade. So... I get done in the shower, I would wash it, you know, I'd wash it in the shower, and I'd brush it, and then when I'd get up in the morning, and it was dry, I would brush it, and whoosh, poof ball, that's the way I'd do it, and now I know, nah, uh, 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 you don't brush it when it's dry, now if you have a pick, you know, one of those, those little, um, you know what a pick is, um, for, you can use one of those, but no, 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 no brushing. You do not brush natural curls when they're dry, <laughs> unless you want to be a poof ball. So, that, but when I was going through my ponytail holders, because I had you know, you know the Sephora bags you get? You usually get the little ones. Well, at one point, I had one of the big ones. Not a huge one, but, you know, a pretty good-sized Sephora bag. And it was full of ponytail holders. You know, it had all sorts of ponytail holders, not just the scrunchies. It had the, the little bitty terry cloth ones and the, the small little rubber band type ones, but not rubber bands. And then the big ones, like the rubber band ones, but not rubber bands. And all different in-betweens of those. So I kept out a handful that I'll use. Because it is still long enough, I can pull it into a ponytail. It's just not a very big ponytail. It's just a little ponytail. It's about that big. So, um, yeah, I'm sitting here just not diamond painting at all. Um, anyway, I digress. 
But in doing that, I found one of the bracelets that I had forgotten I had that from a long time ago. Well, not that long ago, but a while back. It says, love me until I'm me again. And I love that bracelet. And so I found that and I put that on. Um, but... Anyway, but, yep, yeah, so I did that thing. Yep, surprise, surprise, I actually cut my hair. I surprised a few people. Because I didn't tell anybody I was doing it. I just came back and, oops, my hair was short. Still a lot of people that don't know I did it. I'm not telling. Not their business, I suppose. It's my business. It's my hair. Oh, that guy's broken. Come here. Give me some old trash can. I don't know, for those of you new to diamond painting, I don't know that anybody on my channel is new to diamond painting. I keep a little... Well, pale. He used to have a magnet on him. He's, his magnet came off. Anyway. That I put my trash drills in. This, I, I tend to empty it after each painting. So this is what I have so far from this one, which is quite a lot for a, to me, or it seems to me, for a dreamer design. And I ain't even half done. Can you see how many's in there? See where the light's shining down in there. That seems like a lot. For during the design. And some of that was like some weird trashy stuff that was stuck in the bag. Anyway. But yeah. So Um, cut my hair. Um, I've lost 14 pounds. Not looking for it. Don't want to find it. If somebody sees it on the street, don't send it home. Don't want it. I will not be answering the door if it comes back. I'll probably find it anyway. I always do. I really need to lose more weight. I need to get up and walk in. The knee is still having issues. Um, it's some better. Still doing the jolty electric cattle prod thing at night. So, I don't know. I don't know if that's going to get better or not. I'm waiting. I'm giving it t the time he says that I'm supposed to give it. So, we shall see. But, then there's, let's see what else is new. What else is new? I have not had to yump George lately. That's a good thing. I hope I did not jinx him by saying that I didn't have to lately. He's been, he's ran really good lately. Um, I did have put oil in him the other day, though. I didn't realize he was that thirsty. But that's been taken care of. So... What else do you guys want to know? You know, you can always send me questions, and I will answer them on my next, you know, the next time I'm on. Things you might want to know about me, or, you know, if there's some, one of those 
get to know me kind of things out there that you've seen, you send me the link and I will print it off and answer the questions to the best of my knowledge and happy to do that if you guys want. You know, instead of sitting here listening to me just ramble about nonsense stuff. You know, if you, you know, one of those, how long have you been diamond painting? How long have you been diamond painting a long time? Believe it or not, longer than most of them. Am I any good at it? No, not necessarily. I have days I can't lay a straight drill to save my life. Sometimes... I think I'm pretty good. Other times I'm like, <laughs> I wouldn't show that to nobody. Yeah. It just kind of depends. I'm sure we all have days like that. But, yeah. I have pretty much decided that multi-placers and me do not get along. It's a love-hate relationship. I just cannot do it. I tried. I tried really hard. Guys, I did. Uh, I really did. I just cannot get the hang of it. I don't know if it's a left brain, right thing thing. Did I just say thing thing? A left brain, right brain thing thing. I don't know. Anyway. I, I don't know. It's, I just cannot get the hang of it. So, and to tell you the truth, it is much more calming for me to sit here and do this one drill at a time. And now I have Johnny Cash song stuck in my head. Got it one piece at a time, and it didn't cost me a dime. Anyway. <laughs> and yes, that's the kind of person I am. So, you know, I'll say something and the song will pop in my head. Because I just am that way. But anyway. Well, bunnies, I can't think of anything else to say. We are approaching the 40... Oh, we just hit the 43-minute mark. So I'm going to let you go before you're bored to tears if you're not already. I'll be surprised if you watch all of this. I hope I interested you in something. Let me know if there's anything you want to know about, if there's anything I can help you with, if there's, you know... Just anything at all you want to talk about or you want to, you know, if there's a book that you're interested in reading or if there's a movie that you haven't seen that you, anything like that, you know, let's chat about stuff. You know, my comment section is down there for a reason. Let's, let's get some, some comments going. If you're new here, which I should have said at the very beginning, I'm happy to see you. If you're not, I'm happy to, see, if you're not new I'm gl and you're back, I'm so happy you're back. I would love it if you would subscribe. I would love it if you stay subscribed. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm still fairly new at getting reused to this and I will eventually get my brain wrapped around to where it actually works. Maybe. Probably not, but maybe. But, yo, you mean the world to me. And I hope you all have a happy Easter. I mean that. I love you. And I'm gonna sign off. Bye, everybody's.